Capricorn, come on in, put your feet up, make yourselves at home. My name is Jen Dawson, welcome to Jen TV. All right, Capricorn, what do you need to know about love? What guidance have the cards, have I got for you in love today? I'm at a weird angle, there we go. Bear in mind, my loves. These are general readers, so it's not going to resonate with all of you. But if it does, take a look in the description box below. There is a link to my Patreon if you want to watch extended videos. There is also a link to my website. You can purchase them there. Or if you join my channel. Um... You can probably the best price would probably be from um Patreon. But uh each has their perks, so take a look. I am starting to do private readings again as well, so take a look at my website if you want to book a private reading. That's the only way you're going to get one, I will never contact you. You have to come to me. Capricorn, what does Capricorn need to know about love? One more. Bottom of the deck. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. It's the end of a relationship. End of a connection. I feel like it's something that you've... Um, with the Six of Cups in reverse, I feel like it's something that you've struggled to release. Struggled to let go of. Um, with the Ace of Swords here, the cause of it. I think that you've struggled to let go of this because you've had no closure. You've had no closure because you've had no communication. So it's been difficult, very difficult to let go of this connection. You're manifesting something in right now though. Oh my gosh, the energies are strong to manifest. I, I manifested so many amazing things last week. I, it blew my mind. So get manifesting. I just kind of needed to remind myself and the universe. This is how I did it. I needed to remind myself. I needed to remind the universe that I'm not separate from the universe. I am at one. We are one. And any obstacles that were in my way, I can remove them. I don't need the universe to remove them. I'm removing them. And I got what I wanted. Within minutes, sometimes. It was like, did you see that? So with this coming now, the energies are strong for you to bring in what you actually want. Closure, I think. You see it's gone as far as it can go. You see it's gone as far as it can go. It's got no future. And there being, what's the word I'm looking for? Aloof's not quite the word, it's more than that. Aloof sort of has like some kind of hope, doesn't it? This person's like, there's been no contact with them. We see there's no future. So you're, you're, you're coming back for you. You're going to start protecting yourself from the energies that caused you to think that this was worth mooning over. 
worrying about yearning for. You know, drink from your own cup of love and you're manifesting in what you do want. I get it. I get it. You want to have something. Oh my gosh, I can so relate to this. It's shocking how much I can relate to this. Uh, let me know. Once I've obviously got my words out, let me know in the comments below. But you sort of want to feel like you feel like you've not been moving for so long and everything's been limbo on hold and it's like you feel like you want something to look forward to something to show that you know you're moving in your life like some rewards you know something and this is like saying yeah you've put the work in and that tree's blossoming now with abundance coinage so yeah you're at that place where you are looking for, oh my God, just something. It's like you can't keep trying to drink from an empty cup. If there's nothing in the cup, there's nothing to drink. And you're thirsty. And you want something. And from this relationship, this connection, you've got nothing. Nothing at all. You can't give anymore. There's no future here. So you're manifesting in a cup that's full your cup that you have for yourself yeah you're drinking from that cup but there's only so much you can drink from that as well before it's empty and you need some freaking rewards or you might go crazy so you're manifesting that in to always have a full cup well, that's what I manifested in last week. A full cup I could freaking drink. Hold on, I gotta click this because my website is stupid. And if I don't click it, then <laughs> it doesn't save. In the middle of, um, I, that's my uh, extended videos. I upload as I go. Anything else Capricorn needs to know? Oh, more cups. Wish fulfillment. It's coming in, mate. It's coming in. What you want, what you desire. What you're manifesting. And uh, fairy godmother waving my magic wand and saying, Wish granted. Bring, you shall go to the ball. All right, what's coming up in the near future for you then? Moving on. You are moving on. You're like, you know what? I'm done with this. Done with all of it. I'm moving on. Things are happening for me. Drinking from full cups. I don't need to think about the past. I don't need to think about what was, who hurt me, what was taken away from me. I got a full cup now, in this moment. So I'm moving on. Yes. Which is also setting your boundaries. So when somebody comes into your life and they're all flirting with you, but then they're like, oh yeah, but I'm not ready for a relationship. I'm going to leave you on red now because I got what I wanted from you. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm going to be the fly in the soup here again. So you've got your full cup. Oh no, it's empty again. You're like, no, no, no. No, 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 no. I don't have empty cups anymore. This is my full cup and I'm going to keep drinking from that full cup because 
and not be messed around by anyone again. You're moving on from that. You're cutting those ties and you're letting that go. Hell yes. You're gonna keep me waiting? Goodbye. I'm, I'm speaking from your point of view. This is what you want. That's what you want. You want a deep connection. You want someone who you know what page you're on. Right? What's coming up in the near future? You standing in your power. That's what's coming up. New beginnings. Because you're not going to let somebody step over your boundary. They think they are messing with you. Best you can hope for. There's still a chance for you to fulfill your wishes, fulfill your dreams. It's never too late. So don't be thinking that you're too old to be happy. You're too shy to meet somebody you're too fat you're too thin too short too tall no that's not a thing those those no I'm not having any of it you're not too anything if anything though you may be just a little bit too hard on yourself you need to chill that's the only thing. Give yourself some credit that you're amazing. And that you're never going to let somebody cross your boundaries and treat you badly. You're going to... When someone comes in in the future, you're going to take your time. You're going to look before you leap. You're going to say, I need a little bit more information before you get my heart and soul. I want to make sure you're not going to tread on it. Stomp about in your heart. Nah, you don't need that, do you? So who's coming up? Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, perhaps? Let's have a look at them. King of Cups. Oh, come on. Behave yourselves. King of Cups. Quite exciting, isn't it, life? It's, it's, it's getting there for you. It's getting there. Things are moving forwards. Yeah, someone's coming in. No. No. This isn't your person. This person, Cancer Scorpio Pisces, they're, they're a liar. This is someone who's going to come in and love bomb you and make you think, like, or treat you at first, like, you're amazing. I, I don't like this person. Because, how do I, they're going to treat you like you're amazing at first, but they, this is the kind of person who, if they're angry about something, they'll cut you off. They won't talk to you. And you won't really know why they're not talking to you. They'll just be like, well, I'm, 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 I'm. they'd leave you, drive off in the car or something and leave you in the middle of nowhere. This is that kind of person. Don't don't fall for the love bombing in the beginning, right? Okay, don't fall for it. This is not for you. I'm 
And I'm genuinely, no, no, I don't like, no. I'm, I'm concerned. That's how much I don't like this person. They're like, naturally, if it's someone they've been with for a long time, public displays of affection are a no-no. But to try and get you, they'll be all over you like a rash until they've got you and then they're, you know. It's, it's like gaining a trophy and then they've got the trophy. They're like, next trophy. I don't like this person. Especially because it's like they don't deal with um, confrontation at all. They'll just walk away from it, even putting you in danger to, to prove a point. Outcome here. Where's the strength in reverse? I'm going to take it into the extended. I'm going to ask about this person. Um, when are you going to meet them? I'm going to ask if you haven't already met them. I'm seeing it's a Cancer Scorpio Pisces, but we'll ask more about them. Get more of, of a specific sign, perhaps. This is in the extended. So ask about them. Get a sign. How do they really feel about you? What are their intentions towards you? What do they want to say to you? And some guidance from the universe. But let's read the uh, outcome here. Strength reverse, which is weakness, basically. I think the universe wants to test you on your weakness. Are you Are you going to fail? Are you going to fall into the trap and get into a bad connection? No, you're not. You're not. <laughs> you're not. Oh, that's good. That's good. I'm not worried. You're like, no, no, I'm not businessing with that. As soon as I saw that card, I was like, yeah, that's fine. You're good. I don't need to worry. You want to watch the extended? You want to ask about them? Let's do that. But, um... You're good. I don't think you're. I don't. I don't think anyone's even going to bother watching the extended because uh, you're you're going to be fine. But let's pull you some oracle cards. You know when you have a cat and you just put your face in their belly and rub. That's what's happened. I got cat fluff in my nose. Cause Gary's belly smells like kitty cookies. Believe in the impossible. I'm talking about you manifesting. You manifesting in whatever the heck you want, because you've got this. You tell the universe that you are the universe. You're not separate from it. And you're going to remove the obstacles. Your love lyric for the day is... It's all I can do to keep waiting for you. All I can do by the cars. It's a turtle tune. I love it. It's one of my favourite songs, so uh, yeah, give that a listen. I'm going to take this in six standards. See you guys later.